This uh, painting is uh, called Meditation. It's from Hawaii. And in Hawaii, the flora, the fauna, the, re the landscape, the beauty is so overwhelming that uh, you're forced inside because it's uh, so beautiful outside that uh, you actually can go through periods where you don't notice the beauty anymore and you start noticing the negativity in yourself. And that's a strange experience to have in paradise, but it's very common. So the way out of that is the way out of just about everything else, and that's through deep meditation. And when he opens his eyes, he sees the beauty that he started out with anyway. But he'll be able to see more and uh, differently and brighter. Meditation. This picture is from also from Italy, and it's called The Last Train. Uh, as if there were a last train, which there never is. There's always another train. But uh, the guy with the suitcase missed the last train and instead ran into the perpetual Divine Mother who was telling him there's no problem that there's always another train, always. There was a, a little train stop not far from our village above Florence. And, uh, you had to get there first, and then you had to get the train, and you might miss it. So it was the last train for a while. But it seemed much more to me than that. It seemed to say there's never a last train. This painting I made uh, as soon as I walked outside in this uh, villa we had above Florence. People were working away and making uh, a dinner, barbecuing a dinner outside at the, the, the house. And uh, it was just incredible, the light, the color, and the plants looked very thick. But it, the hands, everything looked like kind of golden spaghetti and transparentness. And so anyway, so I went inside and I painted it. And uh, I guess it's called a barbecue. But for me, it's something else to... It's the, you know, the endless transparency of one thing connected to the next. This is from Italy also, and <clears throat> they have little factories around Italy that produce little things, and people are always working at something or other. And uh, I was walking around the hills one day, and I was in a little town, and there was this factory, and the people, instead of being 
depressed and uh, on their way in or out of work. They, oh, the place looking horrible. It looked beautiful to me and, and wonderful. And I walked around and people were drilling away and doing whatever they did in the factory. So I, I hung around there and then after a while I left and I went home and I painted this one which is called The Happy Factory, which is the way I saw it and the way I felt at that moment. And in that way, it, it, it guarded that moment forever. It froze it in time. There, there is such a thing as a happy factory. <laughs> Oh, sorrow lessens at work, supposedly. Uh, mine certainly does. Painting pictures, I don't feel anything except being groovy. And uh, so you, that your choice, be, you know, with life, is to take it as a groovy thing or to take it as a horrible thing is right there. Everybody has to move. Movement is work. And uh, work is movement. So, according to this guy, sorrow lessons in work. And don't be you know, lazy on your way. Just take the pleasure out of it and enjoy it. It's, uh, it's a collage with a little guy I found somewhere in the trash who is very alive to me. It's a kind of a devil prodding one along. This painting is called um, The Table, and it was made in Mexico. And it, it really, it has, it's me sitting at a table, watching all of the people and the events that are going on around me at this strange little restaurant. So it was a beautiful theater of, uh, of life, watching everyone's strangeness and at the end is uh, the whole thing is a skull which is very paramount in the Mexican mind but not an unhappy one just one so therefore you might as well just have a great time at the table and that's what this is the table When I first came to Stockholm in 2005, I was really looking for some energy in the world of the arts, and it was almost impossible to find anything. So I went to nature and started painting in nature a lot, and I started finding, you know, some things that were very interesting. And this was uh, a lake that was uh, still cold or even partly full of ice. But at the same time, the sky was beautiful and the, the uh, plants were blooming, were beginning to bloom. And the cold water was pouring into the lake. And uh, I thought of myself as being part of it in, in it. But I watched this with great detail and I watched the movement and the secret things hidden in it and tried to paint that. This is called uh, the Lake near Stockholm. <laughs> <laughs> 